This is it. You do have to admit I'm getting pretty good at the proposing. By the way, if it doesn't work this time, I'm just jumping overboard. Weights <laughs> on my ankles, weights on my waist, forget about me. Oh, we're never gonna go back again to that place of insecurity or doubt. About you and my mother, it's over. It's just you and me now, kid. You and me and our baby. You're going to be a father, Nick. You have to move on. Forget about me. Brooke? Are we boring you? Uh, no. Well, you insisted that Dante be able to do this presentation. I thought you'd be more interested. Oh, uh, yeah, I am. Oh, just thought it looked like your mind was somewhere else. It's really gonna happen. We're finally getting married. Mm. No more relatives coming back from the dead. No more fake heart attacks. Just the two of us on the boat. Which is the way I wanted to do it in the first place, if you remember. I know, I know. I should have listened to you. Maybe we can have a clause put in the vows. I, Bridget Forrester, vow to love and cherish and honor and always listen to everything that <laughs> Nick says. I think I could do that. As long as you vow to always, always listen to me. Well, if we're always listening, who's going to do the talking? I think we did just fine without any talking the other night. I don't know what it was, but you... It's just the way that you were making love to me. I think we connected in a way that we just... We just haven't really connected before. I know you've always been so attentive and passionate, but I'm serious. I think we got really lost in I mean, did you feel it? I Yeah. Maybe it was just my hormones. Or the fact that I'm carrying this baby. Or maybe it's because we're past all of our problems. I don't really care what it was. I just hope it works again. say something. I understand that Bridget's very relieved the two of you are dating and I'm grateful for that. But you don't have to put on a show around here for me. Well, you rather we keep our display of affection behind closed doors, right? I just want my daughter to be happy. So do we, Eric. I think we're all in agreement on that. Bridget. Bridget, we're in the office here. Sorry, give me to lock the door. No, hold. you said that you want to be connected, right? Like, like last night. Well, I can't do that in the office. I'm distracted here. It's hey, not gonna. Hey, hey, hey. Andrea, sorry. Yeah, what is it? Uh, it's Captain Seeger. You said to let you know the minute he called. Yeah, right. What line? Line one. One, thank you. 
I gotta take this. Nick! No, I gotta take this. It's Captain Seeger. He's the one marrying us on the boat tonight. I've got okay, to take it. Okay, okay, okay. I guess I can't be mad about that. After we left your house, we went back to the boat, and Nick was just, he was touching me and loving me. It was, it was just really passionate, you know, really intense. take you away this weekend. Let's go to Santa Barbara. Let's leave tonight. Oh, that's sweet, but I can't. You deserve a break. Get out of town for a couple of days. Help me celebrate getting my new job. I'm not really in the mood for celebrating. Better than sitting around here driving yourself crazy. You gotta block it out. Whatever's been distracting you. Who is it? Bridget or Nick? Bridget and Nick. They made love. Jealous? No. Concerned. Bridget told me about it. I asked her to open up. Wanted her to feel comfortable telling me anything way she described it. I'm not really sure that Nick's intentions were pure. Listen, remember, you're doing this for your daughter, okay? Nick is very committed to her, okay? You just gotta stand your ground just a little bit longer. No, no, Captain Seeger, it's a very small wedding, actually, on, on my boat. It's Basically, the two of us and you. Right, right, tonight. A couple hours, actually. You, you okay with that? Oh, good. Perfect, perfect. Uh, thank you. I'll see you then. Okay, we're set for the wedding. Good, good, good. Let's just get a jump start on the honeymoon now. I'm going to lock the door. Will you tell Andrew to hold oh, no, hold on please? a second here. We get, like, a couple hours till we do this. You got something to wear? Yeah, you liked the dress from the first wedding. I'll wear that. Well... Don't you want to wear something different? You know, it's a new dress, new start. Yeah. Huh? Okay, okay. But lucky for me, <clears throat> my dad's a designer. It'll take me two seconds. Oh, hey, Megan, it's me. Will you put me through to my mom? I have some really exciting news for her. I thought you were calling your dad. Oh, yeah, well, a bride needs more than just a dress. Yes? 
Dante, I have to take this. It's Bridget. Hi, sweetheart. Megan says that you have some good news. I do. Well, I'm, I mean, you're not going to believe this. You might, actually, because we, well, we tried three times already and it hasn't worked, but it's going to work this time. Nick and I are going to get married tonight. Your wedding's tonight? Oh, wow, that, that really is good news. So it's going to be on Nick's boat, and I'll call you later at the exact time. You want me to come to your wedding? Of course I want you to come to the wedding. Of course I would want our parents there. You'll come, right? How could I say no? Great. Okay, well, um, then I'll, I'll see you tonight. Bye. Why did you do that? What? And did you want us to tell her together, or...? Oh, no, no, but we had talked about this. It's gonna be the two of us, right? On the boat. Private. The two of us with the captain. That's what we discussed. Yeah, Nick, but they're our parents. I mean, why would you have a problem with that? Bridget invited you to the wedding? You knew, didn't you? That's why you wanted to take me out of town. I thought it'd be easier for you. Anything would be easier than to actually be there. But Bridget wants both of her parents at her wedding. And I've disappointed her so many times in the past. I'm not going to do it again. You're gonna go? <sighs> yeah, I have to go. Bridget's sake. I'm gonna go there and I'm gonna watch Nick marry my daughter. I have no other choice. Dante? Bridget. Where's my dad? Uh, he was here a minute ago. What are you doing here? I'm dropping off my swatches. I, I gave my presentation today. Oh, that's right. I, how did it go? I got the job. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so proud of you. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> well, congratulations to you too. Thanks. So I guess my mom told you that Nick and I are getting married. No, I heard it from Nick. You two didn't argue, did you? No, nothing to argue about. He cares about you very much. He made it very clear the other day by the pool. How exactly did he do that? He didn't punch my nose for making out with Brooke. <laughs> Besides, if there was anything going on between the two of them, I'd probably look like a raccoon right now. <laughs> Does that mean I have your approval? Do you need it? No. No, I don't. You are getting married tonight. I expect you to sound a little bit more positive than that. I am. I am. I, it's just, it's going to take me a little bit longer to feel totally secure. Listen. Nick Maroney may not be my first choice for you, but he's a man of principle. He cares about you. He cares about the baby. So does your mother, so I'm sure they won't cross the line again. Thank you so much. I have been through a lot the past month, and I honestly, I don't know how I would have gotten through it without you. Well, now you can move on with your life and be happy. I tell you, I'd be a lot happier if I could find my father. I need a dress. I'm getting married in a couple hours. You want me to help you find him? No, it's okay. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna have my mom help me pick it out. I'm just gonna stop by her office on the way out. What are you doing here? We've got to talk. You can't be here. You have to go. You're marrying my daughter tonight. Yes. 
Yes, I am. And I'm going to be a great father and a great husband. I'm committed to that. So what are you doing here? You can't be there when I do it. Do what? You can't come to the wedding. Did Bridget change your mind? I didn't even know she was inviting you. Well, I didn't either. It came as a surprise, and I, I couldn't say no. You have to. I already accepted. I don't care. Come up with something. Like what? I don't know, and I don't care, but you cannot come to the wedding. You think I want to watch you marry my daughter? You think I want to stand there and have my heart ripped out? Well, I don't want it either. I don't want to hurt you, but I have to do this. Now, I have committed myself to Bridget and our child. But I can't do that if I can't forget about you. How can I pledge myself to her if I'm thinking about you? You can't come to the wedding. Because if you come, I don't know if I can go through with it. 